What's up, Slobbies? If you know anything about guitar gear, you know that you want the best price. You want something that works good, but also too, that won't bust the bank. And that's something that we constantly struggle with, with gear prices always rising. It really sucks. But there's a world of guitar that, you know, the prices are really, really low. It's a little skeptical at times, but us being humans, we're gonna be skeptical and we wanna take the plunge. So today I'm presenting you with the cheapest guitar pedals in the world. Now, I'm being dead serious when I say these are the cheapest pedals in the world. Um, these were actually gotten for free. Um, it came from a certain website, um, you know, a certain website that everyone's been using a lot lately that uh, has a lot of deals and a lot of stuff. I think you can assume what the website is from. So yeah, the pedals on the website were originally really, really, really cheap, but um, my dad got some deals. And so these two, came completely free. So now if we look at them, you know, let's get a close up. So here we have a vintage phaser. Uh, the text is a little bit sideways, so I'm gonna get a different camera angle. But this right here is of course an MXR Phase 90 copy, which funny enough, I don't own a Phase 90. I've been thinking about getting one for a long time because it's, just, it's kind of like a Digitech whammy. It's in everyone's pedal board and for good reason. So I was actually really excited about this. Um, these pedals are super light, I mean, they are very, very light. They feel like they're a pound, if even. You barely feel like they're a pound if we compare like a normal size mini pedal. So if I take, yeah, this mini pedal right here, this like has some, you know, chunk to it. You know, it at least, you know, feels like a pedal. This feels like a feather compared to this. Um, even though they look super metallic and boxy, everything, you know, compared to this, I mean, this should look lighter. You know, you don't see the exposed metal parts and everything, but this, you know, it's green sparkle metal, back metal. They're super light. These things weigh nothing. And here I have the second pedal, which is a vintage overdrive, which is a copy of an Ibanez TS9. I do have an Ibanez TS9. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think a lot of people have a TS9 because I mean, it's just a classic pedal that everyone owns. I really like the color, you know, it's a nice green color, kind of matches my room walls. Of course, I'll get close-ups of this because it's backwards. But this one, we have three knobs on here. We have a drive, a volume, and a tone. So, you know, standard overdrive stuff. And then for this one, of course, it's just the speed knob because it's a phaser, uh, phase 90 copy, which, you know, notorious for just stomp one knob and you can, you know, tweak whatever you want. So let's talk about these. So the biggest thing is how do they sound? You know, how are these things going to sound? I'm going to give you some sound demos and you guys can hear it for yourself. Now, do I recommend buying these? That's up to you. That's really up to you. My personal experience with them, the sound, 
quality of it all, I think they're pretty good. I think they are pretty good. The only things that I'd say I'm not the biggest fan of is again, the lightness. Like these pedals, like, there's just no weight to them at all. They feel like feathers versus a normal guitar pedal. So that's the only thing that really concerns me. You know, it's just like, how's it gonna last over time? But for the temporary, like, use and feel of it all so far, it's turned out pretty good. And part of me says, why not take the risk? If you can find these pedals, you know, why not take the risk and see? Um, I don't have the links for these pedals. I don't know what the links would be, but if you go on this certain website, starts with the T, um, YouTube isn't too fond of promoting this website. So I'm a little bit wary, but I understand why completely too. But you know, why not take the plunge? Um, I, I have a lot of fun reviewing budget gear, honestly. I love, you know, seeing the whole broad range and seeing what's more accessible to people, you get to see what more people are gonna use, what more people find, and the different ways that people are gonna use it as well. So, in a way, I guess I kinda do recommend these, you know, just have fun. You know, these pedals are stupid fun in a way. They are just stupid fun. You know, you don't have a big professional, you know, pedal set up with a $200 pedal here and a $300 pedal here. No, it's just like a first pedal kind of feel. And if these were to be your first two guitar pedals, I think that'd be pretty cool, honestly. You know, you get Overdrive, which is a big basic, especially if you're into older, more bluesy rock, then hey, you know, you need a pedal for some Stevie Ray Vaughan or ACDC, get that. If you want to get some classic Eddie Van Halen tones or any of those classic, crazy 80s, 70s, you know, flanger-like guitar sounds, this vintage phase is really cool. Um, personally, it's my favorite of the two, probably because I've never really used a phaser before, but I've used, you know, overdrive pedals, of course. I have multiple, you know, I have a TS9, but, you know, I recommend trying them out. You know, if you can find them at the good price, would I pay more than 20 bucks for these? No, I would not. I would not. That's just me personally. I turn to other brands for that, but for the price of these, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't pay more than what they were listed for though. So do keep that in mind. If you wanna hear me talk more about budget gear in the future, which I'd absolutely love to, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, like, subscribe and share and everything. You know, it really helps me be able to get this content out for you. I'd love to be able to show off, you know, like budget guitars in the future to really show off. So if you wanna see that, you know, do support the video and you know, I thought this was a really cool one-off kind of thing to show off and do, so I hope you guys like it too. I'm um, hoping to see you all very soon, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else I was going to say, but guitar pedals, they're cool. <laughs> Alright, thank you all for watching, I hope to see you all soon. Have an absolutely great rest of your night, day, wherever it is. Take care.